this will walk you through how to set up your iPad for use with Apple Classroom. Follow along with these steps. First, go into the settings. Go into general and scroll down to the bottom where it says reset. There are a lot of options for reset in order for this to work and for your iPad to be configured correctly. As was mentioned in previous emails, we need to click erase all content and settings. It will make sure and confirm that you want to erase all content and settings. Go we'll click erase. Again, it will make sure that this is what you want to do. It may ask for your Apple ID password. It also may ask for your restrictions password. Once your password is entered, it will begin the reset process. Once you've reset, you should have the normal setup prompts like these with a couple additional prompts. Select English, select United States. The next step is to choose our student Wi-Fi network. Select SJ Stu. The password for SJ Stu is M A G 1 S 8 9 O O. That is the letter O, not the number 0. The letter O O. Select join. Once it is selected the network, it should move on to Location Services. Enable Location Services, which will help us track a lost iPad. Then we have a new screen, which says Configuration. Strike Jesuit will automatically configure your iPad. This is the essential step for preparing your iPad for Apple Classroom. Click Next. It installs over a short amount of time depending on how many students are in this step at the same time and then it will move on to Apple ID. Here enter in your Apple ID that you have been using for your iPad. Make sure you don't change your Apple ID or put in a new or different one. Otherwise you may have trouble getting your previous purchases or using your textbooks and iBooks. So enter now your Apple ID. And then push next. As it configures your iPad, it should lead you to the Getting Started screen. It will say Updating iCloud Settings, and now Welcome to iPad. The next steps should occur automatically. When we click Getting Started, it takes you to the main screen as a brand new iPad would. If we wait a little while, it should automatically begin the next steps. The first thing it will do will be installing the Mosul Manager app. This app is similar to the old manager app that we had called Meraki. Mosul Manager 
is our new one. As a new iPad, it will tell you how to edit your home screen to rearrange your icons. Dismiss this. Now our last step is to activate our iPad and authenticate it. So we want to go into that manager app. In this app, it'll ask you to allow notifications and things like that. So we want to click allow, use the camera, access your location. <clears throat> okay, all these things enable IT to be able to find an iPad if it's ever lost. <clears throat> so now here we are at the main screen. Your last step is to receive your activation code and enter it here. So I will enter in activation code to take us to our final and last step for this device. Once the code is entered, it's entered correctly, it should say your name. In order to leave homeroom, show this screen to your teacher and let them press the confirmation. A teacher will authenticate that you are the student that it says and will click confirm. It may, after that, ask you to sign in to your iTunes account again. With that, you should be in your classes. It should connect your iPad to your course roster, and you should be all set up. Now, just like previously, it will install um, the web clips to your home screen that include Moodle, Magis, Community Life, and the bell schedule. When your teacher selects confirm, you're free to go and enjoy your activity period. Remember, from here on, that is necessary to be on the SJ Stu Wi-Fi network and have Bluetooth on during school hours. <clears throat>